Hello, welcome to The Watches TV. Today we are going to speak about Rebellion timepieces and we are going to present in detail those two watches, the T1000 and the 540 Magnum Tourbillon. Rebellion watches are special because they really evoke and incarnate the world of the racing cars and this goes through materials that are used, through extreme designs and through many many details. Uh, sometimes it's just a question of aesthetic, sometimes it's a pure question of technique, but all of that makes possible to identify directly a Rebellion watch. So, I will start with the T1000 and the T1000 is called like that because it has more than 1000 hours of power reserve. This means more than 40 days. How they could do that? Actually, the watch has six barrels inside and these barrels are interconnected through micro chains. This is very unusual, very special and what is even more special and unique to this watch is the way you can win the watch. It's a manual winding watch but forget about the crown, here you have a lever that you have to pull and this will just activate the chain inside and charge all the barrels. As you can see, time is displayed through roller borns and these roller borns are vertical as all the wheels of the gear train. On this watch, the gear train is perpendicular to the main plate. The link with the world of racing cars is also very clear in terms of materials. For instance, all the components of the movement are made out of aluminium, which is quite rare, light and sometimes also challenging to manufacture. Let's speak now about the design of the watch and uh, its case. Uh, the design has been made by Eric Giroud, who is a very famous designer in watchmaking and uh, as you can see it's very audacious. Uh, this uh, shape is just uh, unique and uh, it's big, it's massive but it's not so heavy uh, as the case is made out of uh, titanium with a lot of sapphire to put the movement in the spotlight. What we uh, really appreciate on this watch is um, a very special little mechanism that is in the crown and uh, to set the time you have only to push the crown and turn it. You don't have to pull it, it's a safer uh, system somehow and we have never seen that on other watches. So this was for the T1000 and let's switch to the 540 Magnum Tourbillon. This Tourbillon is uh, actually one of the biggest on the market. Its uh, diameter is almost 2 centimeters, actually it's 1.8 centimeter. It is a skeletonized movement, meaning that you can see almost every mechanism of it. And uh, it has two main planes, one for the back, which is in carbon, and one in the middle, the main one, which is made out of aluminium. So it's another presence of uh, technological material into the watch. So carbon uh, is an important material here because you have it into the movement, but you have also it in the case because the case is made out of carbon. Um, it's a case with a lot of details, a lot of elements and this reinforces the technical character of the whole watch. It is also impressive because you can really see the two barrels, you have a lot of space inside and just the hours and minute hands that are just appearing at the top of it. On the left side you have also a linear power reserve indicator that is activated by a chain, a micro chain, which is very difficult to manufacture and uh, to adapt. The T14 movement displays hour and minutes, but it has also a retrograde head second directly connected to the tourbillon here and that jumps, that goes up and then falls down every 60 seconds because it is a 60 second tourbillon. The 540 Magnum Tourbillon is then a very special watch also as the T1000 with a very strong identity, a lot of technicity inside, exclusivity because both movements are made by David Kondo for Rebellion type pieces. So it's genuine, it's authentic and it's really, really made for sport.